So that's the other reason why it's so big, because of the fact that in order for the, these dynamic animations to take place, you need a large area for the game to be able to compute tra transversible uh, terrain. If it's too small, there's not enough area for it to to be able to uh, determine where it can fly to and stuff like that. So the next thing is, uh, if it is dynamic, that means that we are going to be able to have pieces that will be perchable and stuff like that. Maybe they'll come up with their own different set of pieces for that specific animal, or they will just be able to perch on anything that you put in here. In all reality, if it's a dynamic animation, you'll be able to put anything in here and the animals should be able to interact with it, whether we perch on it, poop on it, whatever the case may be. So that's what we'll be looking uh, for the bats. So now that we kind of got the reason of why the exhibit is so big, let's talk about the future of exhibits.